Praise the Lord. Uh, my name is Dayo Agbola. And uh, I believe that uh, God will speak to every one of us here this evening. And uh, that which you will hear shall be permanent in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I also believe that by the grace of God, the spirit of prayer will rest upon this assembly. Also, before I move ahead, I like to honor the set man of the house, Pastor Koju Oyemade, without whom I believe I will not be here. Let me tell you how I started on this journey. You know, one day, I don't know, I was not really known by face to Pastor Koju. I was just sitting in my office, and I just got a message from him. I'll be traveling out of Lagos. I'll be traveling out of the country. Take the message in Yaba. I was like, I'm going to hack for me. <laughs> me, I'm not usher. I'm not choir. I'm not minister. How? You see, there are men of God you meet on your journey. You respect them. Paul said, henceforth know we no man after the flesh. Okay. So, when the Sunday came, I remember Sister Pastor Fumi was me too bouncing. Ah, I wonder. <laughs> you know? But uh, I've been on this journey for long. So I know how to give honor to whom honor is due. I remember I, am, I got done with the message. I was barely down the road. On my way home, I got another message that you will go back and preach fourth service in Yaba. Ah! I mean, in Igomu, I was like, ah! That on Yaba was understandable. Those Igomu people now, so they'll be looking like yeah. <laughs> I see. You're just looking like yeah. <laughs> but like I said, I've been on this journey for long. So I've learned not to look upon their faces. I don't look at people's faces. I've been on this journey for long. Uh, and I believe that God will help all of us here this evening in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, let's go to the message of today. When Pastor Fumi called me and said, ah, send me a message. Please, can you take message, the message on Tuesday? I was like, ah, what will I tell these people? I mean, there is a lot to say, but God, what will I say? I had so many things in my reservoir. I had so many messages. I've been preaching to myself in my room, looking for the right audience. And my prayer this evening is that you will be the right audience. In fact, looking at you, most of you, I believe you are the right audience. What I'd like to share with you uh, the things I was not told when I was your age. My mother said, she, she am my age, really. <laughs> well, I can look at all of you and get an average. Do you understand me? So, there are things I would like to tell you that I regret not being told when I was your age. Because it is good for a man to bear the body in his youth. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing. It is the honor of kings to search out a matter. There were things we didn't search. There were journeys of searchings we did not embark upon when we were your age. Yes, we search for things we embarked on searches in the word of God. And I'm talking about Christianity. I'm not talking about in the world. There were searches we made. And it seemed as if by virtue of hindsight, we seemed to have over-focused on the right things. I won't say the wrong things. The things we found, we are right. If you read the book of Osea, they said Osea is a cake not done. Have you read that scripture before? Huh? You have not read it. You go and look for it. Is there in the book of Osea? Have you tried frying pancake before? 
Huh? You know, after frying one side, you turn it. When they say osia is a cake not done, that is osia. I mean, Ephraim, Ephraim, sorry, is a cake not done. Ephraim, thank you. He said, Ephraim, he hath mixed himself among the people. Ah, thank you. Ephraim is a cake not turned. That is more ye. They fried one side too long and it, become, it became what? Burnt. We got into the gospel of faith. And for years, we focused too long on the dimension of faith. And we thought that was all. Got to a point along our journey. We mixed ourselves with the people. Motivation enter. We began to read books like Napoleon Hill. Think and grow rich. I'll reach you. Ah, the apparel. We thought. If riches come by thinking, <laughs> my brother. We thought. I'm telling you, I don't think there's anybody here that has not read that book. We read. We imagined. <laughs> we became motivational speak out or song of We imagined. Yes, as a man thinketh, so he becomes. But we didn't know that the time must come. We must come. We focus too much on our thoughts. Thinking that a man can become something solely by his thoughts. If it's by thinking alone, most of you here should not be in Nigeria as I speak. It's the Canada. Ah, pardon. It's the Canada. I bet you the Canada. What are you talking? Why are you? Oh, oh. Let me unpause you. If it's strictly by thinking, listen, I give you 15 years of thinking. Some of you will still be in Nigeria. We, I'll be preaching, you'll be sitting, we'll be looking at ourselves. As a man thinketh in his heart, so he becomes. The, the Bible says the only thing you should do is think. So, we read books about thinking, positive thinking. Norman Vincent P. We thought positive. We spoke positive. We walked positive. We stood positive. <laughs> Negative, no, look, could just. That's the truth. Some of you understand what I'm saying. Ah! You don't know the joy of being a second generation Christian. You don't know the joy. Some of us led our parents to Christ. The Christianity our parents know now is the one we brought to them. The Christianity I met in my family was white garment. Just wake up one day. I just woke up. I'll see white people in white. Incense in you. He the only Michael. And you think by thinking alone, you will deliver yourself from such strongholds. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down. There are some souls that yes, you are thinking, but there are some powers holding you down. You must pull them down. They'll be pulling down. Imaginations, not even in your own mind. Imaginations in other people's mind that are stronger than you. Huh? And they have entered into covenants to see to it that those imaginations become not only generational, but what? Transgenerational. And you think by thinking. Answer, answer. Emma, Emma, be on. For me, rest on. Not against flesh and blood. Against principalities and power. Ooh. 
Ijembole. So you think everybody you see on the street of Lagos is flesh, is flesh and blood? Ah, that Paul said in First Corinthians, he said all flesh is not the same flesh. There are those the Bible call the children of disobedience. Jude calls them twice dead. He said they have crept into the house of God unawares. Let me help you. In Acts chapter 10, the Bible said, and Philip went down to Samaria and preached Christ unto them, and there was great joy in that city. He said the demons, they were shouting, they were groaning, they were running out, running out of the city. <laughs> but there was one guy they called Simon the Sorcerer. Kolo. He did can't wait. The demons left. Because the Bible said, for a long time the whole of Samaria saw him as the great power of God. This man was not a magician, he was Simon the Sorcerer. A sorcerer is a controller of spirits. The spirits that Philip chased away were under his command. Not all men that you see is flesh and blood. The Bible calls them the children of disobedience. And the greatest manifestation of them that will come, the Bible calls him in Thessalonians, the man of sin. Full of all deceitfulness. Full of all sin. The Bible calls him the wicked one. You think he doesn't have children? Praise the Lord. Am I scaring you? Somebody is thinking. I am a lost one. Don't talk about the devil. Now let me deliver for house. <laughs> We talk about him because I won't over talk about him. But the greatest deception that we have seen now is for the adversary to make you think he doesn't exist again. And not only that, there is a gospel that has gone. I don't think everything is not prayer. Everything is prayer until you prove otherwise. I, I say it without apology. Even Jesus Christ, he ever lived to make intercession. After he led captivity, captivity, why didn't he go, just go to heaven and sit down? After he sat down uh, at the right hand of the Father, even the Father looked at him. Oh, because she's only here. So you think you are done? The Bible says, He ever liveth. To let you know that this gospel of you alone can make it in life. Huh? Huh? <laughs> If you are here this evening and there is nobody somewhere making intercession for you, ha, by name and by face, like Pastor Koji will say, honestly, you might not attain unto the fullness of your destiny. You might not. Somebody somewhere must be praying for you by name and by faith. Face. The Bible says, Jesus ever liveth. He ever liveth to make intercession for the saints in accordance with the will of God. Some of you will not have been saved if not somebody that prayed for you. Some of you wonder why things are just happening for you. And you think, oh, I don't really pray. Somebody somewhere is praying for you. Somebody somewhere is standing in the, Even God said, I sought for a man that will stand in the gap. For me, concerning the land, so that I will not destroy it. God said, I found none. Everything is prayer. Whether pre-accomplishment or post-accomplishment, until it is proved otherwise. So, what are the things I wasn't told when I was your age? Number one, Psalm 4. The book of Psalms, chapter 4. Are we there? We have to be fast, please. Because I want to lead all of us to the place of prayer. Can anybody pray here? You sure you can pray? Not psychedelic prayer. You sure you can pray? Prayer that you will remove your weapon on one side and pray. Yeah? <laughs> Psalms 
Psalm 4. He said, Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? So, sons of men have capacity to turn glory to shame. The way some of you are looking at me. Say, oh ye sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek after foolishness? But know that the Lord has set about him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. He says, stand in hall and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. Now look at verse 6. There will be many that say, who will show us any good? He said, Lord, lift up the light of thy countenance upon us. At every step of things that David realized, he set a time for prayer. He said it there. The Lord will hear me when I call. Verse 3. He got to verse 6. There will be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of thy countenance upon us. I don't want to go into principles. So many has been taught in the covenant nation. By the man of God. By men including myself. But there are some things that you must stand before God in the place of prayer. And say, God, there will be many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of thy countenance upon us. We have come to a time in the history of Nigeria that there will be many that say, who will show us any good? Many know now that Good does not come by acquisition of certificates. In fact, <laughs> if you don't know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody, you might not in Nigeria now, you might not even attain unto one quarter of what you call destiny. In the journey of Nigeria now, it seems as if everywhere has been blocked. Whatever you call good has been apprehended. That if God does not show you good, you might not see good in your lifetime. God forbid. Ah, am I communicating with somebody? And there were some in the time of David who said boldly, who will show you good? Who will show you good? I have been on this journey for years. I have seen people, families that no good man, no man of means, no man of wealth. In fact, there are some of you seated here. You are the hope of your family. You are the one their family, your family is waiting for to break through. And if you want to be sincere with yourself, with the increase in poor yesterday, even you to know. No. If to break through me, it only for a they break through your God, Papa. My office is in a papa before it will take me like one hour to get here. But we the increment in four people are even left the room because they know echo <laughs> telling we were debit break to one more. During Muslim festival that you expect that everywhere will be jam-packed. Oh no, what free BSA arrow. There will be many that say, Who will show us? Who will show? They have, they have said it. By the policies that they are making, by the audacity that they have, who will show you any good? And it's not them. We are talking about powers. For we wrestle. Not against flesh and blood. And you think that by thinking, okay, those that are against you, is it thinking that they are using? Excuse me now. I don't like when people look like this. Ah. Sister, um, Pastor, Madam, sorry. 
The people fighting against the church, is it thinking that they are using? You think it's ordinary thinking? Oh, you think they got to the position of power to lord it over you by thinking alone? Wait. Isaiah 28. So that you will understand. Isaiah 28. Please, if it's a sign, if it's a, I can shout it too much. Someone just tell me, calm down, calm down. Are you little yet? Calm down. You see, do you know why I'm hungry? Ah, I arrived late. These things I didn't know slowed me down. When you say, all things work together, go, I quote scripture too. If you quote, if you quote one scripture for that. If you quote, you go, I'm not at home. You make all things beautiful in the start. I'm back the microphone. I'm telling you, there is delay. You are telling me you make all things beautiful in Easter. Ha! <laughs> what is the essence of eating talking with Adbo when I'm 75? What's the essence of buying a house in Banana Highland when I can't climb staircase again? Abba! You are telling me you make all things beautiful. If we make it now. Now! <laughs> oh, you if are. Oh, I'm angry. Oh. you don't understand what I'm saying. I married my wife with nothing. The day my grand, my father-in-law died, we were missionaries in the East. My wife couldn't come. Actually, me, no matter. I could only afford So I went to represent her. You know, as I know in Yoruba land, in Ijebu, I married from Ijebu, I'm Ekiti, proudly Ekiti. What, 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 what? So, we went to their village. They were spraying money, spraying money. Ah, me too. Those are the days of 2020 Naira. That was the highest denomination. I have packed those 20 Naira. 20 Naira, multi packing. As a non in law. That's how the in law. That's how the Elere started pressing me. I go along. Ah! I was like. <laughs> Me too, I brought that money. Mind you, my in-laws were already on the, on the stage. That's how I went. You know, they were down. You know, there's a way you dance. I said, how costs we are you? I was like, I was like counting all the money. By the time I was going to spray, my in-laws looked at me. Go, go, go back. Ha. Ah. Go, go back. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Lord, you go. Ah. Lord, who will show us any good? You see, I want to give illustrations that are down to earth. May you not be silenced in your in-laws' house. Yeah. Hey, by the time you are a man, you are 45, 55, and your wife is pounding yam. As Yahweh, God has not shown you good. Or maybe he showed you, you didn't see it. Because your wife married you, she has developed biceps. <laughs> Tricep. Our, our wife. What are they doing? They are ceremony tomorrow. What is she doing? We are pounding yarn. You know? This kind of yarn is only the sweat of the Yahweh that will make it sweet. There will be many that say, if God has shown you good, they will never call you that kind of call. Abba. They know those that they call. They know those they call. I'm like, no, no, I'm running. Me, I'm on more. I can, you see me, pounding is my hobby. I can pound 50 tubers. But no, you have no one that's, you know. Come, let me invite you to my house. I will pound. Your brain has not seen good. May you not spend labor where you should spend money. Yeah. Sure you get. Hey, if that's the case, you can be the gate man of your house. 
Or send your son. Who else should you trust if not your son? You say, get man. Vacancy, get man. Apply within. It's not within. Take so a son from within. Put him by the gate. It should be applied without. But since you are looking for who else should you trust if not your son? Would you want your son to be your gate man? I say, may you not spend labor where you should spend money. Yeah. What am I saying? May God give you money to spend. Yeah. <laughs> there be many that say, and I'm saying that before the end of this year, every negative sayings against your life shall be terminated in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Irrespective of who is saying it. Irrespective. So, you think those against you, whether in your family or nationally, God there by thinking alone. Isaiah 28. You see, I wanted, uh, this message is 15 things you should have known. I should have told that I was not told when I was born. I can't do 15. So we'll do the one we can do. Isaiah 28, verse 14. Listen very well. What to me there? Are you there? Wherefore, hear the word of the Lord. Ye is come for men that rule these people which is in Jerusalem. So this word is for people that rule. They have gotten to positions of rulership, not by thinking. We will see how they got there. Oh yeah, next verse. Because you have said, we have made a covenant with death. Uh -huh. And with hell are we in agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, he shall not come to unto us. For we have made lies our refuge. And under falsehood have we hid ourselves. Now, you see that? These people entered into covenant. Beyond thinking. We have made a covenant with death. Huh? And what? With hell. Are we what? In agreement. Ah. You think this is covenant nation for nothing? Ha! Huh? Where we we are we are we are we we are we are what? Oh God. Oh God. We are, we were, we were, we are. <laughs> you cannot run the kind of programs that Pastor Kodju runs without raising special offering. 30th anniversary, no special offering. Wolfbeck, no special offering. Are you not shocked that things happen? Churches have been built. Calgary is open. Ibelo school. UK, London, America, Uyo, everywhere. Ah. If it we are the time people like us, we are in ministry. Ah. I will call lucky like no. Lock all doors. You will give up. No. We will send some specially prepared mercenaries. No, you see, some men of God who are specialists as the racing offering. They I oh no. Seven days seminar. Oh no, what down? What are you saying? Just because you want to plant one branch. And look at branches of other nation springing up, springing up, springing up. Yet everybody is at peace. It's only covenant that can do that. You must ask Pastor Kojo. Pastor, the one. The one. The one. Let's leave all these messages you preach. Please. No, oh, sit down, sit now. Let me teach you about insight for Baba, if you insight for living left. Ah, if you insight for living left. Show me thy ways. Teach me thy paths. There is a way that the eye of the eagle has not seen. You must pray to see it today. The vulture. The, as telescopic as the vulture's vision is, he has not seen it. 
Man of God said, man of this house, he knows something. He knows something. And, Pastor Omi, you know that you dare not do it on this altar. Raise an offering. Raise an offering. Did I tell you I like money? No, I can read his mind. He has, even when he says it, you can see that he says it reluctantly. No one. A time came, Nicodemus came to Jesus. Ha, 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 Baba, I think sure he likes okay, what? Excuse me. We know that thou art a teacher come from God. Not come from Bible school, come from God. For no man can do these things that thou doest unless God be with him. You must get to a point in your journey that your mindset will change to the mindset of the God that only shows good. Because there is a mindset flowing in the air, sent forth by the prince of the power of the air that has made men to lose hope over Nigeria. They have, they have lost hope over the environment of Nigeria. They have concluded there is no good for me here again. David got to a point, he began to sound. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many they are bewitched of my soul. There is no help for him in God. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. Lord, shield me. Some of you must rise and pray, Lord, shield me. Be my lifter and the glory. My glory and the lifter up of my head. Because horns have been set and they are just, they are just starting you know, to say to it that no man is able to lift up his head. Maybe you don't understand. The shame that befell me that day in 2005. When they chased me away, I just, I just went somewhere. I sat down, and I was counting the 2020 naira. Do you understand me? I was counting. They came from America. Me, I was in Nigeria. I was like, God, when will you show me good? They did not even respect my anointing. Are people hearing? Ah, you think anointing is equal to prosperity? Go and read Second Kings chapter four about the prophet that feared the law. He had died in poverty. You have not read it before. You have not read it. Go and read it in Second Kings chapter four. Second Kings chapter four. The wife Ra. We know is it chapter four? Ah, exactly. Uh -huh. Thy servant, thy husband is dead. He was the son of the prophet, oh, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creator is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen. There are some things anointing doesn't store. You must rise up against it. Those or else the things that bound you, God forbid, it will bind your children. God forbid. There are some who can boldly say there is no help for him in God. Because they see how you are doing your Christianity. They can see that with this kind of prayer you pray. Open my tie, tie my tie, 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 tie my tie, open my tie, tie my tie, open my tie, that this is not the kind of prayer that nullifies the kind of covenant that we have. Because they know men that have covenant with God. He said, call unto me the saints that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Do you know what these men sacrifice to remain there? Do you know what some of them do? Do you know the blood that they have shed? And you think that by thinking, 
Paul said, Oh foolish Galatians. He wrote on the Paul was fine. Why will he call the whole church foolish? No, he didn't say they are a fool. He said they are foolish. There is a difference. <laughs> a fool is a personality. <laughs> Foolishness is a disposition. It's not the same. A friend of mine said, Foolishness is an office. Somebody must occupy it. Should I repeat it? Foolishness is an office. Somebody must what? Occupy it. Ecclesiastes understood that clearly. He said, a little fully, a little fully can make the garment, the whole aura of a wise man to begin to smell just a little fully. Look at what God said. When he began to deal with them in Isaiah 28. Thus, therefore, thus said the Lord God, behold, I lay in Zion a stone. A tri stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make haste. Judgment also will I lay to the line, and righteousness to the plummet. And the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the waters shall overflow the hiding place. And your covenant with death shall be annulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. There are realms you don't enter into without warfare. There are good you cannot see without warfare. Ha. Ah, he said, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. There are things you cannot, and I'm talking about things spiritual and things temporal. You cannot lay hold on it until you fight. Or else, what you will be living is a temporal life. You will never experience the virtues of eternal life. You must stand in the place of prayer and say, God, I will stand upon my watch. I will set me upon the tower. And I will want to see what he will say unto me. And the Lord said, write the vision. Make it plain upon tables that he may run that he read it. There are things you have not read because you have not stood in the place of prayer. I have three sisters before me. I'm the first son. You bunny clock you want me. Hit him at what time? Wait. I'm the fourth born, first son. One day, you know, you know when you have three sisters and you have first son, once in a while you begin to behave like gay. So when they are gisting, me too, we gist with them. We were gisting, we were gisting. So one day they were, we were all gisting. And did you know that kind of gist that they are talking about you as if you are not there? <laughs> and they were like, you know, we are talking about one of my cousins who was doing very well, going to America, everywhere, everywhere. He's a male. He's over there. And they all said, I was there. And I was there. And I was there. You know, there are some things it's between like, who did I came in, God? And they repeated it. When, okay, for those that don't understand Yoruba, when will our, the head of our own men, when will it be good? And I was seated there. The import of that statement did not dawn on me for days, for weeks, for months. Thank God it did not end in years until I woke up. I woke up. And I came to decisions never again. I took my destiny in my hand never again. And I covenanted with God. I said, God, never will I look at anybody's hand again apart from my own hand and your hand. I don't have any uncle I look up to. I have no sister I look up to. That, those doors closed years ago. I don't write any letter to anybody. I don't send text to anybody asking for urgent 2K. You see, those kind of minds closed years ago. All the days of my... 
I came to where Job got to. If a man die, shall he live again? I would rather die in your will than die a beggar. All the days of my appointed time will I wait until my change come. And I waited. I waited. I entered into a covenant of waiting with God. God, I will rather wait at your door than wait for men. Those were covenants I made decisions. Let them carry my load and throw it out. I will not make that call. I will not. When God saw my resolve, ah, God showed up. This, you know, for Jacob to become Israel, there are decisions that Jacob must make. May you not die as a Jacob when God wants you to transit to an Israel. Psalm 147 said, he showed his word to Jacob, but his statutes and his judgments to Israel. Do you know who Jacob is? Jacob is the one that, as I'm teaching like this, he's only writing it down. Wonderful. <laughs> ah, what a man of God. Oh God. What is what Pastor Mumi said here? Oh boy, anyway, anyway, do. And you are only hearing the word. And Paul said, when he was on the road to Damascus, every other person saw the light and they were afraid. But I was the only one that had the voice of him that spoke to me. What separated Paul from the crowd? He had the voice of him that spoke to me. Nations become nations by decisions. Huh? By instructions. And I expect some of you here to begin to hear instruction. He said, my son, take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her. For she is thy life. She is thy life. When I Entered America for the first time. The first person I looked for was that lady that chased me out of the Ujuabu. <laughs> you know, sorry, it's not pride, though. It's not pride. You know, when Jesus Christ rose, some people rose with him. They didn't ascend. The Bible said they went to the city and they showed themselves unto many. You have not read it. You have not read it. Give them time. Talefe lorry. Want to go? Mumbo ejo. Eje sairi. But what only me nira moto ye. Mumbo. Who else? You want to shake ya? Who? Third day we are going up. Who? One twenty one. Ah, babe. Tony me nishori. The girlfriend me. Third day we are going up. One twenty one. Ah, babe. Tony me nishori. The girlfriend me. Ah, okay. Ah, we are going up. One twenty one. Ah, babe. Tony me nishori. It's not pepper demo. <laughs> but you see, let me tell you. Oops, this gospel is not sweet. If some people don't see you in glory. You believe me? Yes, sir. Kana. What I just said, is it Kana? This gospel can be sweet. If some people don't see you in glory. Don't let me tell you a story. 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 You don't get to such realms by thinking. By confession. Thus <sighs> said the Lord of the Cyrus, whose right hand I have holding to subdue nations before me. Eh? I will go before you, you to break down the gates of brass and plow down the bars of iron. And I will give you the treasures of darkness, hidden riches of secret places. So that those that have been saying, who will show you any good, will hit their words. Ha! Even 
concerning Jesus, they say, lift up thy hands, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. There are doors in your lineage, my brother, my brother. It is everlasting. Kokore will see if God doesn't open it for you. They are everlasting doors. It didn't open to your great-grandfather. It didn't open to your grandfather. Even you to know that your father, it didn't open for you. I'm not, I'm not saying that no. You don't know who my, who my mother is. You know? uh, even the way you are talking, it has not opened. Uh, oh, God. The way you are talking, it has not. You see, there is a way somebody will talk. You know that. Ah. Are you in Shiba boy? No, you will know. You will know. So, what is the second thing I wasn't told? Because some of you, you are banking on government, not knowing that you are looking at the wrong government. He said, unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be where? Upon his shoulder. <laughs> oh, God. Who? My sister. We will buy for 2,000 naira. You won't feel it. Till Jesus comes. You don't understand prophetic dimension to what is happening. Everything you see now has prophetic dimension. Bring, bring Lee Kuan Yu, raise him from the dead from Singapore <laughs> to come and lead Nigeria. You will buy fuel for 3,000. Because prophetically, the earth will fall like an oven. That's what the scripture said. The earth will burn like an oven. But they shall, they that be wise, shall shine like the stars of the firmament. So I wonder why Christianity are amazed. Christians are amazed. As if their hope is in the world. As if our rock is their rock. Ah! Did the Bible not say, one shall chase a thousand? Did the word of God not say that we shall lay all, lay up gold as dust if we acquaint ourselves with him? He said, good shall come unto us. My brother, my sister, ah, I said, when I look at your head, you go, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. He said, surely. It's not you that said surely. It's God that said it. Because he knows that a time will come, you won't be sure. He said, surely. Goodness and mercy. It's God telling you, surely. What to believe? Yes. Goodness and mercy shall follow you. Because we have come to a point in the history of the world, not only in Nigeria, people are not sure what is following them. Ah, 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 telling me. God says, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you. How many days? All the days. God says, in case you are not sure, I am sure. And it's not a once in the... Do you know what is shadowing you? Goodness and mercy. All the days. So these are covenants that God has with us by virtue of the blood. It's a covenant of better things. For we have come unto the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things. That blood can't be speaking better things and you are speaking terrible things. Let us wake up tomorrow morning and let fuel be 5,000 naira. Keep speaking better things. It's not by your word alone. It's not because your tongue, you use marking or you use close off. There are covenants. Those now. Oh. How many of you have African magic here? <laughs> you have watched African magic. Yoruba. 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 You know those men that say, Gotawi, Some of you believe those men more than the scripture. You believe in the efficacy of what they say more than the efficacy of your own words. Now, do you think they just began to say that because they studied Yoruba grammar? There are covenants activating those words. The same way, when you speak, there are covenants that are, you must be aware. I'm not standing alone. I'm not speaking mere words. Am I communicating, please? How do you activate these things? Ezekiel 16. 
Oh yeah, let's be quick now. Is somebody ready to pray? Ezekiel 16. You are ready to pray? Ezekiel. Good. Ezekiel 16. Now, I want you to understand. There are three kinds of covenants you must be aware of. Huh? There is the covenant over the land where you are in. That even if you are operating in a positive covenant, and there is a negative covenant over your land, that's why the Bible says you must pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Even if the Prince of Peace is with you, you must pray for the peace of Jerusalem. If you go and read Revelation chapter 11, verse 8, the Bible told us that that place where Jesus was crucified is not Jerusalem. It has two names. The name is what? Egypt and Sodom. Oh, God. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Where was Jesus crucified? Where is Golgotha? He set his face to go to where? Jerusalem. Jerusalem, where he was crucified. But the Bible said, Jerusalem has a spiritual name. The name is what? Sodom and Egypt. Egypt waited for thousands of years, spirit cities, to exercise revenge over the one that killed his own firstborn. That city never forgot. That some thousands of years ago, when God wanted to deliver his own firstborn, all the firstborn of Egypt was what? Killed. So that firstborn, years, thousands of years later, he took a new name. What was the name? <laughs> so, who told you where you are is Lagos? It's a question, huh? It's a question. Oh, the Simon says, Welcome to Lagos. Eh, they deceived you. <laughs> For you to conquer a territory, God must show you the name. That's one. That's one. You know, I'm. Okay, that's one. Number two, you must be aware of the covenants operating in your family. Number three, which is the greatest, you must be aware. Of your covenant with God. So, the one I want to deal with now, leave the city. That one is beyond your pay grade for now. Ezekiel 16. Oh, yeah. We have to be fast because we are going to pray. Oh, yeah. Ezekiel 16. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Oh, yeah. Son of man, cause Jerusalem to know our abominations. He said, And say, and say, Thus hear the Lord God unto Jerusalem. Thy birth and thy nativity. Is of the land of Canaan. Thy father was an Amorite, thy mother an Hittite. There are things about your lineage you don't know because they didn't tell you. There was a woman in the Bible. First one that married her died. Second one died. Third one died. Fourth one died. Fifth one died. Sixth one died. All brothers. Who? Then the seventh one married her again and died. Nobody even asked, why are people dying on top of this woman? Do you know what they asked Jesus Christ? And in the resurrection, whose wife will she be? I want your bureau. Nobody even came to her. Say, Madam, kilo she. Shogun Dileni. I have seen families that the women don't marry. If they marry, they will come back home. You see, in many mommy in crying is a new creation. Oh, ah, 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 ah. New creation, reality, and your reality at times might not align. No. Your reality and new creation reality. Even Paul said, Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this flesh? He said, A messenger of Satan was sent to me to buffet me. Three times I besought the Lord. Send this thing away. And as for thy nativity, that is nativity, eh? they are talking about your genealogy. We are now doing an operation of the spirit. For you to understand, though, recently I was praying with, some, with one chap in church, and God just revealed something to me. He was with me in the car, and as I held the son and started praying with him, 
praying in the spirit. It was like, wah, 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 there are things that have been planted. Some of you did not ask, Mommy, what is this, Gary? What is it for? <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, God help me. Oh, yeah, God help me. In the day that thou was born, thy navel was not cut. Neither was thou washed in water to supple thee. Thou was not salted at all, nor swaddled at all. Oh, yeah, next verse. No, I pitied thee to do any of this unto thee, to have compassion upon thee, but thou was cast, cast out into the open field. They just pushed you into the open field of the world to the loading of thy person in the day that thou was born. There are navels that must be caught. I'm talking about spirit influences. Do you know what I mean by a navel? Umbilical cord. When a child is born, one of the first things they cut is what? Can the child cut it by, by himself? There are some things you can't do by yourself. Even as old as you are now. In that area, you are still a child. He said, so, as you begin to grow, you just find out that you want to go far. There are parental, familial influences drawing you back. And mind you, no umbilical cord is the same length. You might have said, ah, no, not in my own case. Let me tell you, know. Let me tell you, know. I've gone far. That umbilical cord, your own might be like 120 centimeters. They will wait for you to go far. Then the pool starts. Let me round up. I'm not trying to scare you. I have met Christians. There is a, a man, big man in Lagos in those days. He was the CEO of an insurance firm. Nobody, no, none of their men live above 40. Pentecostal Christian. None of their men live above 40. He was coming, some of you might know the story. He was coming from a function on the highland, and some armed robbers were raiding somewhere on Ozumba, uh, uh, Mbadiwe. And something just happened. He had an accident. Here was his boy where he died at age 39. They waited for him to succeed. He was a big boy, but there was a neighbor that was not caught. Some of you are aware of, some of you can't sleep at night. Somebody must come. You don't know who the person is. But they come to visit you, to discuss with you. I'm talking to somebody here. That navel must be cut. Kodekeno, it's not a big deal. What does it take to cut the navel of a child? But it's just that in the school of faith, it doesn't matter. There are warfares that you must fight. And say, God, that bond, that cord, those sickness. While I was in the east, I have seen grandfather blind, first son blind, third son blind, all of them blind, every first son. Abba. He said they are held in prison houses. They are sneered in holes, and none said, restore. Rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. Do you know what I want you to pray this? This evening. There are neighbors that if it's not caught, people will just see you and they will think that you are okay. May your helper not come to borrow money from you. <laughs> he said, no, I pity thee to do any of this to you. Why? Because that navel was not caught. We are going to pray this quickly. I say, God, every bondage, every influence, Trying to see to it that I don't go beyond a certain level of in life. God, by the sword of the spirit, let those cords, those cords of sickness, those cords of mischief, those cords of wickedness, whatever it is, let it be severed from my life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Can somebody pray? Can somebody pray? Can somebody pray? Reka sakubaruria kabidela gabaka shidaria kabora. Rabo sagaba ya tori ya kabrela gaba kasudari ya kabrela bakste. Pare go sagaba ya tori ya kabrela gaba kasuda. Ah, I want you to pray as if your life depends on it. La kori ba sagaba ya kutaruri ya kadela. Every messenger of Satan, buffeting your destiny, 
Buffeting in your life. Buffeting in your children. Buffeting in your business. Every unnatural tendency. Every satanic obsession. Every satanic possession. That wants to limit your journey in life. I command it to be severe this evening. Hope your mouth and begin to pray. By the blood of Jesus. Can you pray that prayer? Can you pray that prayer as if your life depends on it? Pray that prayer this evening as if your life depends on it. Today your story begins to change. Your honor is returned. Your glory is returned. Your joy is returned. Your honor is returned. Your glory is returned. Your head shall be lifted. Your head shall be lifted. Your head shall be lifted. He said, thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. I want you to put your hand upon your head this evening. Put your hand upon your head. I say, Lord, anoint my head with oil. No more scarcity. No more scarcity. Every generational scarcity comes to an end. Every generational scarcity comes to an end. Huh. Somebody is not praying this evening. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can you lift up your right hand to go? I decree this evening. Every cord of wickedness, every cord of mischief, holding you down to the past, by the sword of the Spirit, I command this severe today in the name of Jesus. I told somebody we shout a louder, Amen. Every cord pulling you back where you want to go forward. God said, say ye to the children of Israel that they go forward. As I severe that call today, I command your life to begin to go forward in the name of Jesus. Whatever negative has been called generational, every weight over destinies, weights of failure, weights of sickness, Weights of poverty, weights of abortion, weights of miscarriage. I command it lifted today in the name of Jesus. Huh. He said, no I pity thee to do any of these things to you. I speak into your life this evening. Everywhere you have ceased to experience favor, begin to experience favor from today. I say begin to experience well from today. They have said to you, nobody can show you good. I speak as the servant of the Most High God. In this year, 2024, you shall see good. Your children will see good. Your family will see good. Your life will see good. All the days of your life. All the days of your life. All the days of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and give him thanks.